Cartoon physics or animation physics are terms for a jocular system of laws of physics and biology that supersedes the normal laws used in animation for humorous effect. Many of the most famous American animated films, particularly those from Warner Brothers and Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios, unconsciously developed a relatively consistent set of such laws which have become their rigor in comic animation. They usually involve things behaving in accordance with how they appear to the cartoon characters, or what the characters expect, rather than how they objectively are. In one common example, when a cartoon character runs off a cliff, gravity has no effect until the character notices dot in words attributed to Art Babbitt, an animator with the Walt Disney Studios, animation follows the laws of physics, unless it is funny or otherwise. Specific reference to cartoon physics extends back at least to June 1980 when an article O'Donnell's Laws of Cartoon Motion appeared in Esquire. A version printed in V.18 No. 7 P. 12, 1994 by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers in its journal helped spread the word among the technical crowd, which has expanded and refined the idea. These laws are outlined on dozens of websites. O'Donnell's examples include Any body suspended in space will remain suspended in space until made aware of its situation. A character steps off a cliff but remains in midair until looking down, then the familiar principle of 32 feet per second per second takes over. A body passing through solid matter will leave a perforation conforming to its perimeter. Also called the silhouette of passage. The time required for an object to fall 20 stories is greater than or equal to the time it takes for whoever knocked it off the ledge to spiral down 20 flights to attempt to capture it unbroken. Such an object is inevitably priceless, the attempt to capture it. Inevitably unsuccessful. All principles of gravity are negated by fear. Psychic forces are sufficient in most bodies for a shock to propel them directly away from the surface. A spooky noise or an adversary's signature sound will introduce motion upward, usually to the cradle of a chandelier, a treetop, or the crest of a flagpole. The feet of a running character or the wheels of a speeding auto need never touch the ground, or go fleeing turns to flight. As speed increases, Objects can be in several places at once. Certain bodies can pass through a solid wall painted to resemble tunnel entrances, others cannot. Whoever paints an entrance on a wall's surface to trick an opponent will be unable to pursue him into this theoretical space. The painter is flattened against the wall when he attempts to follow into the painting. This is ultimately a problem of art, not science. Any violent rearrangement of feline matter is impermanent. Cartoon cats possess more deaths than even the traditional nine lives afford. They can be sliced, splayed, accordion pleated, spindled or disassembled, but they cannot be destroyed. After a few moments of blinking self-pity, they reinflate, elongate, snap back or solidify. The idea that cartoons behave differently from the real world, but not randomly, is virtually as old as animation. Walt Disney, for example, spoke of the plausible impossible in 1956 on an episode of the Disneyland television program. Warner Brothers Looney Tunes had numerous examples of their own cartoon physics, such as in the Wile E. Coyote and the Road Runner cartoons, or even acknowledge they ignore real-world physics. In High Diving Hair, 1948, when Yosemite Sam cuts through a high-diving board Bugs Bunny is standing on, the ladder and platform that Sam is on falls, leaving the cut plank suspended in midair. Bugs turns to the camera and cracks, I know this defies the law of gravity, but, you see, I never studied law. More recently, it has been explicitly described by some cartoon characters, including Roger Rabbit, Bonkers D. Bobcat, and Yucko, Wacko, and Dot, who say the tunes are allowed to bend or break natural laws for the purposes of comedy. Doing this is extremely tricky, so tunes have a natural sense of comedic timing, giving them inherently funny properties. In Who Framed Roger Rabbit, for example, Roger is unable to escape handcuffs for most of a sequence, doing so only to use both hands to hold the table still while Eddie Valiant attempts to saw the cuff off. When Eddie asks, exasperated, do you mean to tell me you could have taken your hand out of that cuff at any time? Roger responds, not at any time. Only when it was funny. Several aspects of cartoon physics were discussed in the film's dialogue, and the concept was a minor plot theme. In 1993, Stephen R. Gould, then a financial training consultant, writing a new scientist, said that, these seemingly nonsensical phenomena can be described by logical laws similar to those in our world. Nonsensical events are by no means limited to the universe. Laws that govern our own universe often seem contrary to common sense. This theme is described by Alan Kolodenko in his article, 
the Nutty Universe of Animation. In a Garfield animated short entitled Secrets of the Animated Cartoon, the characters Orson and Wade give demonstrations of different laws of the cartoons and show humorous examples of them. In 2012, O'Donnell's Laws of Cartoon Motion were used as the basis for a presentation and exhibition by Andy Holden at Kingston University in Great Britain. Titled Laws of Motion in a Cartoon Landscape, it explored ideas of cartoon physics in relation to art and the end of art history. Cartoon physics is not limited to physics. For example, when a character recovers impossibly fast from a serious injury, the laws of biology rather than physics are being altered. It is also not limited to cartoons. Live action shows and movies can also be subject to the laws of cartoon physics, explaining why, for example, the Three Stooges did not go blind from all the eye poking or the Burglars in the Home Alone series survive life-threatening booby traps. In a review of one of the Home Alone films, film critic Roger Ebert noted that in the case of live-action productions, cartoon physics are not as effective at producing a comic effect, as the effects seem more realistic. Most of the live-action attempts to duplicate animation have failed, because when flesh and blood figures hit the pavement, we can almost hear the bones crunch, and it isn't funny. Printed cartoons have their own family of cartoon physics laws and conventions. 12 Basic Principles of Animation Acme Corporation Animate Hammer Space Magic Satchel Slapstick Tune Role Playing Game The Laws of Anime 100 Laws of Anime Physics AnimeInfo.org Anime Physics Ken Pittman's Theory of Relative TV Soap opera physics. 